Alpine's Hemp Company. Gummies, seltzers, syrups, and more. Treat yourself to the best. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. This is the WHKY News. I'm Ralph Mangum, and it's time now for the Crime Report. WHKY's Ariana Mack leads it off today with three from Caldwell County. A Lenore man is charged with failing to appear in court. 34-year-old Melvin Thomas Booker of Lenore was arrested Monday by Lenore police officers. He was charged with felony failure to appear in court and felony larceny. Booker was also charged with misdemeanor counts of simple possession of Schedule 4, controlled substance, resisting or delaying an officer and driving while license revoked. He was jailed under one $135,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. No court date was listed. A man is charged with possession of controlled substance. 38 year old Rashad Dante Jordan of Lenore was arrested on Sunday by Lenore police officers. He was charged with three felonies, possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance, possession of Schedule 2 controlled substance, and possession of controlled substance on prison or jail premises. Jordan was also charged with misdemeanor counts of assault on a female and communicating threats. He was jailed under $80,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center, a district court court date was scheduled for November 6th and a Lenore man arrested for possession of methamphetamine. 42 year old Conan Pierce Kyle of Lenore was arrested on Monday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with one felony count possession of methamphetamine and jailed under $1,000 bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. No Caldwell County court date was listed. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thanks Ariana. More details have been released regarding a Caldwell County drug case. Rob Eastwood has the details. The two suspects in this case were arrested and charged following a search at a home in Hudson. During that search, police reportedly found fentanyl and methamphetamine. Both suspects were placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center following their arrests. 35-year-old John Luke McDerris and 35-year-old Latricia Maria Donovan both of Hudson were arrested Friday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. McDerris is charged with felony counts of trafficking, opium or heroin, possession of methamphetamine, and maintaining a vehicle, dwelling, or place for controlled substance. Donovan is charged with felony maintaining a vehicle, dwelling, or place for controlled substance. WHKY reported on the suspect's arrests Monday. More details have been released. Friday at approximately 9 a.m., a search warrant was executed by the Caldwell County SWAT team and narcotic agents at a residence on Gilliland Lane in Hudson. Agents found approximately 10 grams of fentanyl and one half gram of methamphetamine. The drugs seized have a total street value of $5,500, according to North Carolina state guidelines. Both suspects were placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center following their arrests. Both suspects were placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center following their arrests. McDerris was jailed under $30,000 bond. Bond for Donovan was set at $10,000. They were both scheduled to appear in district court in Lenore on Monday. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. 27-year-old Tequila Cheyenne Queen of Granite Falls was arrested by McDowell County Sheriff's officers on charges of felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor possession of marijuana up to half an ounce. According to a news release issued late last week, a McDowell County detective was leaving the sheriff's office when an SUV pulled into a public parking spot. As it passed, the detective detected a strong odor of burnt marijuana. Upon questioning, Queen, who was a passenger in the vehicle, reportedly surrendered a clear plastic bag containing what was suspected to be meth. Queen, who was already out on bond on unrelated charges, was placed in jail under no bond. She has been charged with drug offenses following an arrest on September 4th, as previously reported by WHKY. A McDowell County Superior Court date was set for December 16th. 28-year-old Awan Deshaun Hearn of Charlotte was arrested Friday by authorities in Catawba County. He's charged with felony counts of larceny and possession of stolen property, 
Hearn was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under no bond. A superior court appearance was scheduled on October 21st. And 32-year-old Cody James Matheson of Taylorsville and 34-year-old Brittany Lee Anna Burks of Stony Point were both arrested on October 21st by Alexander County Sheriff's officers in collaboration with the Taylorsville Police Department. Matheson was charged with one count each of trafficking methamphetamine and possession with intent to manufacture, sell, or deliver a controlled substance, along with one count of possession of drug paraphernalia. Burks was charged with possession of a weapon by a prisoner, making a false police report, and resisting delaying or obstructing an officer. The suspects were taken into custody shortly after 12.30 Monday afternoon. Matheson was jailed without bond. Burks was given a $17,500 secured bond. Both will appear in district court on October 28th. That'll do it. Thank you all for joining us here on The Crime Report. For WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and to keep it legal. <laughs>